Hi guys, Christina here from Redefine Creative, and I'm here with the Spiegel Montscraps Wacky Wednesday layout. And so I'm going to be scrapbooking these two 4x4 four four pictures of my kids, and they are, this was a staycation we did, and they are just running through some fountains. And so right there you'll see I'm punching some circles out of this yellow backed paper, and that's just sticker paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the Sunny Smiles uh, sequin pack from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store and just cover the circle with that to kind of mimic the sun and the fun of sunshine and play in the summer. And then I took some of these 4 inch Normandy doilies and I am coloring them with some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and that is in Spiced Marmalade. And so that's going to go along the edges and then the sequins are going to go in the middle. So it's going to create that look of the sunshine and fun summer and a diff couple different shades of colors that match the little triangles in the paper. And I am using primarily the L Studios Sunny Days collection for this layout. So I pulled out the 6x6 paper pad and I'm using that to back my photos. Um, and I'm just going to have those two 4x4 photos that kind of get um, placed in that center strip in the middle that has the little triangles on it. And then I am also going to be using some washi tape that is um, an older Amy Tangerine washi tape that has just the word love and some little hearts. And then from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store, I'm also going to use some of the turquoise felty hearts, and you'll see that here as we go. Um, so right now, I'm just backing each one of those photos because I want them to stand out. So I put them on a white cardstock, and then I also put them on a pattern paper that matches the colors in the layout. And then I'm pulling out these vellum hearts, and these also came from L Studios. And I'm going to use some of those on the layouts. Right now, I'm just kind of playing with where everything's going to go. And I'm going through all the different embellishment packs and things that I have, just trying to pick out elements that I want to use on this layout. And so I pull out this uh, big ephemera pack, and I'm going to kind of go through that real quickly here and decide what cards and what pieces I want to use and what types of things I want to tuck in here by the photos. I'm going to try out that little tab, but decide not to use it. And I'm just going to continue going through. I like that little D. Charles card, but I definitely like it in the blue color a lot better. Um, and I am going to spend some time playing with the placement of where I want all of these little die cuts to go. Because I am trying to follow that visual triangle, but I don't want it to be too heavy over there on the right hand side. And I really like that little summer die cut. Uh, stacked up with that heart so I go ahead and decide that I'm going to include that down on the bottom and that does end up staying there and then I continue that over with the today in the top left corner and then I'm just looking for some little details to add on the side of the photo there and then I'm creating a little cluster down here on the bottom so I'm going to have the tag and that little details card and then I'm going to cut out this yellow label and I'm going to put that in between the two just to make them stand out a little bit more and then I'm going to add some additional details down there as well. And right now I'm just playing with more of the, the die cuts. And then you see I've gone ahead and added some black pen detailing around the edge um, outside border of the page. And I do that quite often just to create a definite border and an end to the outside edges of the page. And then I have that little acrylic word that says summer in script, and it fits perfectly underneath the fountain in that picture of my daughter. And then I went ahead and grabbed the wood veneer pack, and I'm going to add one little piece of wood veneer to each one of those clusters. So the one at the top just says sunny days, and then the one in the middle is so much fun, and then there's a little heart banner that I'm going to uh, put down there at the bottom. And I place it so that the heart cutout shows half yellow and half blue. And then here you see I've grabbed that Amy Tangerine washi tape and I'm adding a row across the outside mats on the top and the bottom as well as a little bit on the detail tag down on the bottom part of it. And I'm just making sure everything's tucked in and that's pretty much going to do it. I did go back to the tag and add in some baker's twine to make sure it was all tied together as well as those extra felties. And I really hope you enjoyed this layout and we'll see you again real soon. Bye!